Hey everyone, imagine a gathering so big uh, that you have ever seen in your life. Bigger than any concert, bigger than any festival. That's Arbaim, which took place every year in Karbala. This is the most and biggest pilgrimage in the entire world, where tons of people gather together in this event in Karbala, and most of the people in the world don't know anything about it. In this video, we are going to find out what Arbaim is and why all of these people gather together uh, in Karbala every year. So if you're interested in learning anything about uh, the most largest pilgrimage in the world, walk with me today. This year, I couldn't visit there uh, personally, but I gathered some high quality pictures so I can describe uh, most of the concepts you should know about Arbaim or Karbala. Uh, and uh, I could promise you this video will help you to learn something new. Traveling to Iraq uh, has a, a special kind of uh, condition and uh, I couldn't make it this year to travel there. Uh, maybe next year I can. Uh, and uh, because of that, I create this video based on some pictures and videos uh, that I could uh, complete this video for you. So let's go. What exactly does Arbaim mean? Arbaim means 4D in Arabic language and it is the 14th day after Imam Hussein martyrdom. Uh, in Karbala. And every year people uh, gather together in Karbala and walk a um, long distance uh, to reach Karbala and see Imam Hussein Shrine. That's a symbolic uh, act for them, for all the Muslims and non-Muslims in the world. Uh, and uh, that uh, uh, is a really interesting idea because it unites a lot of people from around the world. It doesn't matter what your nationality is or where is your country or uh, what is your religious ideas. Uh, it, it's just about people who respect uh, justice and gather uh, from all over the world to see Imam Hussein Shrine. It's a powerful movement that uh, unites tons of people from around the world. You can see lots of crowded uh, popularity that, uh, that they are walking to, towards the Karbala. And uh, it's a symbolic movement because uh, it might be a question for you that uh, why people do that. This journey and this walking, as I told you, is a symbolic uh, movement that uh, it's not about reaching a destination. It's about uh, ideas and it's a deeply a spiritual experience that people do for uh, showing their respect to justice. Uh, this symbolic movement uh, begins at Najaf city and people start walking from Najaf to Karbala and the distance between two cities is 80 kilometers and people start walking from Najaf to Karbala and they usually sleep during the day and walk during the night because uh, Iraq is kind of um, has hot, hot weather uh, and it's really hard for people to walk during the day so they uh, usually sleep in the day and when, it, when the weather is uh, warm and start walking at night uh, when the sun goes down and uh, it's uh, cooler than the day. The most interesting thing you should know about Arbaim and this big united people that gather together every year is that uh, Iraqi people and other people from other nations uh, gather in Karbala sooner and created some houses and restaurants uh, so people uh, that they are walking towards Karbala can uh, stay at their houses, sleep, uh, take a shower and uh, eat a lot of food. Uh, you can see a lot of food in your way to Karbala and they are all free. And uh, these people just do that uh, for uh, kindness and they don't even get money instead of uh, giving these services to you. 
And that's the most interesting fact and interesting thing that I have ever seen in entire world and entire festival. That a lot of people gather together just for uh, humanity and uh, just for showing their kindness and respect to somebody else. And that's uh, really impressive for me. It might be a question for you, who was Imam Hussein that these tons of people gather every year to his shrine and uh, why Arbaim is the biggest uh, pilgrimage event in the entire world. Imam Hussein was the uh, grandson of Prophet Muhammad and uh, he is a really important person in Islam and uh, he went to a war and uh, all of his friends and families and himself got killed just for defending of justice and uh, that's a symbolic event for all people around the world. If you're curious, uh, try to search on Google and uh, read uh, and read more details about him and her families and why is he so important to all Muslim people and non-Muslim people. Uh, the Arbaeen event is not just about Muslim, uh, it's about humanity and justice. And uh, there are lots of books that talk about Imam Hussein uh, and uh, you can go and find them and read them so you can uh, have a lot of information about him. Uh, is Karbala and Iraq safe for travelers? Uh, if I want to be honest with you, Iraq is not a completely safe place to travel. Uh, but uh, I can uh, assure you that uh, what you saw on the media and in the news is not right about the country and the people. Uh, they show us uh, defensive people all the time and uh, they are so bad and uh, every time in a bad mood and they are so poor and uh, they have very bad conditions in their country. Uh, but when you enter the Arbaim uh, events, you can see hospitality of these people that give you uh, everything they have uh, to make you feel more comfortable. And um, this is not a really safe place for uh, traveling, but during the Arabain, uh, they um, create some conditions that uh, make the people who are visiting there more comfortable. Don't worry about the conditions. A few years ago, because of uh, some war conditions, it wasn't really safe, but now it's better. And uh, you should know that Iran is uh, supporting uh, Arbaeen events and send a lot of emergency services and uh, um, police station and other emergency things that a traveler should use in this uh, way. And that's safe for you if you want to travel there. Uh, the cost of this travel is totally free for you because uh, they gave you, the people who are standing there gave you free massages, free houses to stay, free food. And the only cost you should pay for this travel is uh, the ticket you should buy from your own country to Karbala. And it might be in different range of price and uh, it, mm, totally different from $20 to $100 or $1,000, I don't know. Uh, you should check it on uh, your uh, country's airline. And this is the only cost you should pay for this travel. Other whole of the trip is uh, totally free for you. And that's the positive point about uh, this event. Another interesting thing you can see in Arbaeen events uh, that if you have the chance to visit there someday and attend in this event, uh, there are different range of people in different ages. You can see a newborn baby that uh, comes with her parents or his parents and you can see old women and men who are in love with Imam Hussein and Justice and uh, they prepare themselves to attend in this festival and that's one of the most interesting things about this travel. Although it's a great idea about this uh, religious gathering and big event and uh, I'm interested in the idea of this travel but it's not my type of traveling and uh, that's why because of crowded 
people and uh, hot weather and uh, hard conditions to stay. Uh, I'm not willing to uh, do this travel, apparently. Maybe I change my mind in the next year. Maybe I have the honor to travel in this country and see this big event. But uh, apparently and uh, for this moment, it's not my type of the country and travel and uh, that's why I created this video based on some pictures and videos. Uh, and uh, I couldn't uh, took place in this big event myself. If you have any experience of attending in this Arabian festival or any similar festivals to this one, please share your uh, experience with me in the comments. And uh, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I uh, tried to gather some information about Arbain and hope you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, please write your uh, opinions about this video in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. So, bye.